Weasels, Martins, Stoats and Minks are all part of the Mustelid family, which also includes other crazy animals. They are deadly hunters, even though they aren't very big. Have you ever seen a weasel attack a much larger rabbit? How do you think a mink would handle a snake? If you want to know, keep watching as we look at the fiercest hunters in the forest, the mustelids. Number 15. Weasel vs Rat This rat gives this weasel a fight to remember as the two small creatures roll on the ground and fight hard. The weasel is taking the fight to the rat but the rat is defending well. These two are battling it out and the rat is giving the weasel a run for his money. In the end, however, the weasel is too strong for the rat and it succumbs. The weasel drags the rat into the forest. This weasel is trying to suffocate this rat. The rat is in a bad position and it's almost impossible for it to retaliate. You can see how much damage the weasel has caused to the rat's head after the weasel moves away from the rodent for a few seconds. This weasel takes on a rat about the same size as itself and the battle is intense, with neither animal conceding an inch. The weasel is eventually victorious and carries the rat into its den. Number 14. Weasel vs Cat This weasel is driving this black cat crazy, running back and forth. The cat looks startled and confused, but at the end of the video, the cat is walking with the dead weasel in his mouth. Here is another weasel doing all sorts of somersaults with his cat friend. The black cat turns in circles, trying to catch the quick weasel, but the weasel has so many tricks up his sleeve, he makes the cat dizzy. He climbs on the cat's back and then jumps off, and the cat can't keep up. But it's evident that he's not trying very hard because he knows the weasel. Number 13. Weasel vs Mouse This weasel is pulling on this mouse's tail trying to bring it closer, but the mouse is strong enough to begin running even though the weasel is still holding onto its tail. This weasel catches a mouse and easily kills it before taking it and running back home to show the family. Number 12. Weasel vs Rabbit Weasels are much smaller than rabbits and this rabbit is much bigger than this weasel, but make no mistake, the weasel is the predator here and the rabbit is going to find out soon enough. It's clear the rabbit is no match for the weasel. The hardest part for the weasel will be to drag the dead rabbit back to a safe place. An ermine gives a huge rabbit the ride of a lifetime back to rabbit heaven. The weasel ambushes and kills a rabbit, after which it carries the rabbit through the forest back to its den. Don't ask me how a weasel and a rabbit find themselves in the same enclosure, but what was bound to happen, happened as the weasel grabbed the defenseless rabbit and killed it. Number 11. Stoat vs Cat Our thumbnail shows a stoat standing above its kill, a rabbit. Now, why would we put a rabbit in our thumbnail if this category is stoat vs cat? Well, here is an easy answer for you, simply because this is not a rabbit. It's a cat disguised as a rabbit. A stoat hiding in these plants is attacked by the house cat and wounded. The owner of the cat admitted the wound was bad and he had to put the stoat down to put it out of its misery. Number 10. Stoat Attack on Rabbit This stoat faces a foe 10 times its size. Rushing in would be far too dangerous. Instead, the stoat's purpose is to deplete the rabbit's energy reserves. The stoat's endurance keeps it going as the rabbit grows tired. The rabbit must still be defeated, therefore stamina is insufficient. It is killed by a slice to the throat. The stoat's incredible agility, which it had developed since it was a baby, was just enough to tilt the scales in its favor. This stoat is all over this bunny, but after a few seconds, for some reason, the stoat takes off without the bunny, because it's still alive. Something must have spooked the stoat for it to take off like that during a hunt. This stoat has snatched a rabbit, who is fighting for its life. The rabbit eventually succumbs after a scuffle between the two. To feed his young, the stoat returns to his den with his kill. A young stoat may be seen peering out of the den to observe what's going on. Number 9. Stoat vs Rat 
These two meet in the schoolyard after school to settle their differences. The rat battles hard but is no match for the crazy stoat after injuring the rat. The stoat takes a victory run that lasts a few seconds before dragging the rat through the rubble. But the rat is still alive. The stoat attacks it again and this time makes sure he kills it. These two are battling it out and the rat is giving the stoat a run for his money. We don't find out which one wins at the end because the video cuts off, but it was anybody's game. Another wrestling match breaks out between a stoat and a rat, and after some rumbling and tumbling, the stoat kills the rat and drags him back to base. This rat is able to fend off a stoat and escapes. He runs and dives into the water, swims across a channel, walks through waves and waves of water, and jumps back into the river. This rat is amazing and because of his resilience, he manages to save his life. Number 8. Mink Attack on Rat This mink goes for a swim, but it's just to get to the other side because a huge rat is walking around. Once the mink reaches his destination, he jumps the rat. The rat fights back and takes the fight into the water, but the mink is relentless and drags the rat out of the water to annihilate it. This is one strong rat, and I must commend it for putting up such a fight. But in the end, the mink is just too strong. Watch how fast this wild mink is when it chases a rat into a wildlife pond. The mink is so determined to get the rat, you know for sure he'll not miss. If a rat gets lost in the garden and Zippy emerges from her cage, she promptly locates the rat, regardless of where she hides. It's over swiftly after a short time. Number 7. Mink Attack on Rabbit this mink is teaching this rabbit a lesson in the art of war, and the rabbit is not enjoying it. It's trying to escape and runs for its life, but the water weasel is holding on tight, very tight as a matter of fact. If you watch the mink carefully, it's suffocating the rabbit the same way big cats kill their prey, and you can see the rabbit slowly dying in the grasp of the furry little predator. Then, the mink drags the bunny to a safer and more discreet place to eat it. A mink kills a rabbit and has all the trouble in the world to pull the mink through a fence. This rabbit was strolling along on his nice wintry road when it was ambushed by a crazy mink. The mink tries to hold on to a bigger rabbit, but the rabbit was putting up a fight and got away, momentarily. The mink tried to hold on to the bigger rabbit, but the rabbit was putting up a fight and got away, momentarily. But the mink was not about to let go of such a tasty meal. The mink bites and tries to choke the rabbit, but the fluffy bunny is tough. However, it can only resist the mink's constant biting for so long and eventually succumbs to the attack. Number 6. Mink Attack on Squirrel A man looking out of a window witnessed what he thought was a black squirrel rushing through the woods, colliding with a fox squirrel, resulting in a tragic conflict. As he stood there watching them flop around and whirl in a circle like they were in a cartoon battle, he wondered why squirrels would fight on the ground. They usually run up and down trees chasing each other. So he stepped outside to get a better look, and it appeared to be a gigantic mink kicking the squirrel's butt. He took a quick glance at the man and bolted about 40 feet away. The squirrel sat up, stunned, and attempted to flee, but the mink reappeared in front of the guy, leapt on the squirrel, and resumed his pounding. The man dashed back to his car and grabbed his camera. He chose to let nature take its course due to the large amount of squirrels in his region. They split up again because of his presence, with the squirrel hiding somewhere and the mink fleeing a few hundred feet away. When the man returned to the house, the mink returned to look for him. Because the man had to leave, he had no idea how it finished, but he can certainly speculate. It's not every day you see anything like this. This mink mother has responsibilities, and one of them is to feed her young. Look at her as she carries a ground squirrel that's nearly as big as she is across a ditch to feed her offspring. It's beautiful to watch the maternal love and responsibility these animals have for their little ones. Number 5. Mink Attack on Snake Onlookers saw a mink run across the road ahead of them as they walked down a country road. The mink had cornered what appeared to be a northern water snake, about 24 inches long, by the time they approached it. They watched as the mink chewed on the snake's tail and then went under the water snake to get to the head. The snake was killed by the mink after repeated attempts to pull it from under a rock, but by then, 
The snake's body was firmly stuck between the rocks. The mink looked at them every now and then, but quickly returned to his task. A woman and her 11-year-old daughter were hiking with their dog at a state wildlife management area near their home when the daughter reported seeing something move in the grass. So, with her new camera, she was able to capture something unique. Whether on a nature trail or not, it just goes to show that perseverance and patience pay off. A mink had snatched a snake, and it wasn't a small snake, but the mink was pulling the snake towards it and attacking it until the snake was no longer alive. A pair of hikers captured the moment a mink crossed a road, carrying a big snake in its mouth. A mother and daughter were returning from a nature excursion when they saw the uncommon mink cross the road, according to the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission. The mink crossed the road again a few seconds later, but this time it was carrying a big snake in its mouth. Number 4. Mongoose Attack on Snake this pet mongoose discovers a cape cobra in his house and challenges it. The cobra should flee as soon as possible because the mongoose is a snake killer. The only problem is that it must get past the mongoose first. The cobra escapes and heads for the open field as soon as it gets outdoors, but the mongoose pursues it and tries to get the best of it. Look at this mongoose battling a big cobra. This snake is particularly frightening as it tries to bite the mongoose repeatedly. The mongoose scrambles out of there, and I'm not sure if the snake hit it with the last strike. A mongoose challenges a vicious cobra in a puddle of water during a violent rainstorm, but it's nothing the mongoose can't handle. After missing a few times, the mongoose finally crushes the cobra's head and it's all over. A cobra is ambushed by a mongoose in a ditch. The cobra is blooded up, but it's still fighting. I'm guessing it's not going to be for very long. This cobra is aggressive and tries multiple times to strike this mongoose, but the mongoose is swift and avoids getting struck. The mongoose is usually confident while approaching the cobra and avoids being bitten. Slithering back into its bowl, the snake rests. I'm not sure if it's preparing itself for the mongoose to eat it or if it's for a special ritual. When the mongoose reappears, the snake tries to bite it numerous times before fleeing. The mongoose pursues it until it is cornered behind a garbage can. Number 3. Mongoose vs. Dog These two dogs surround a mongoose and try attacking it, but the mongoose is no pushover and will defend itself to the death. It's only one of the dogs who is overly aggressive, while the other one watches. When the aggressive dog grabs the mongoose by the neck, it kills it. This dog would like to enter this mongoose's den, but he hasn't been invited. Would you invite such an aggressive dog to your house? I know I wouldn't. This friendly dog finds a mongoose in the yard, but it's not overly aggressive with it. It's just curious and wants to play with the mongoose, but the mongoose is terrified and keeps hiding under some leaves. The owner of the dog had to stop filming because the situation escalated and he didn't want the dog to kill the mongoose, so he took him away. This mongoose actually attacks these two dogs, and the dogs are startled by the combativity of the mongoose. At some point, the animals take a break, and it looks like the mongoose will be okay. These two dogs find a mongoose in this pile of goo and try to get to it. I'm not sure if the animals are more in danger of each other, or if this green liquid is more dangerous. One of the dogs grabs the mongoose and tosses it into the air as it lands on the grass where the dogs continue to terrorize it. Although they get a few bites in there, the mongoose is still alive. Number 2. Ermine vs. Squirrel A man looked up to discover a dead squirrel next to his house, under the bird feather, with an ermine standing over its carcass. The ermine bolted, vanished beneath a huge rock approximately 100 feet away, and emerged towards the end of the snow tunnel created by the squirrels. The man believes the ermine attempted to drag the body inside the tunnel, but was unable to do so due to the tunnel's narrowness. The squirrel's body is about the same size as the ermine's, yet the ermine effortlessly elevates the squirrel's body so high it can run up a mountainside without touching the ground. That's quite an accomplishment! An ermine attacks a much bigger squirrel in a backyard in the deep snow. The ermine is so white, it's hard to see it until it climbs onto the squirrel's back. That's when we can clearly see that the squirrel is bigger than the ermine. Researchers have been finding empty cages in the mornings with blood all over them. 
Most days it was just the red squirrels they were catching. Kinda creepy until they saw what was going on. Didn't imagine ermines were this strong or smart. Number 1. Yellow-throated marten vs monkey In this video, a marten's hunting behavior is plainly visible. Due to his injuries, the monkey was unable to climb the tree or move correctly. He had no choice but to protect himself in any manner he could. Even though martens aren't much bigger than langurs, this martin was making it very difficult for the langur to escape, demonstrating its skills and challenging the monkey at every turn. Onlookers at the Corbett National Park witness a blooded primate predator in action. A pair of yellow-throated martins are attempted to kill a rhesus monkey that appears to be afraid. Due to repeated attacks by these ruthless killers, the monkey died of serious injuries. I must say the mink reminds me a lot of the wolverine and the honey badger. All these mustelids are wild and crazy. Which one was your favorite? Why don't you let us know in the comments below? Well, that's our look at the fiercest hunters in the forest, the mustelids. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like and let us know in the comments what you think. Check out our other videos and subscribe to be part of the fun. Click on the notification icon so you can see our new videos as soon as they're uploaded. That's it for now.